Today we are going to have a look at another Pelican. And this is not just any Pelican. This is the M805 Ocean Swirl. And the Ocean Swirl pen, um, people, everybody wanted me to, uh, to to review this. I got a lot of requests, emails, etc. Um, comes the, the coffin that we're used to from Pelican. Uh, I, I picked this up from Applebaum, um, so this is not something he just sent me. I actually, I, I, there was an exchange of money involved, uh, which, which you know, it, it, it happens, people. I do actually buy a pen once in a while. I'm just very selective. Um, Aziza really wanted this, so we, 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 we got this. And I think it's, it's pretty hot. Um, a lot of people were very excited about this, so I'm going to cover the past the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then we'll do a writing sample. The box, I always, I always call this the coffin because it's such a, a massive and it's also pretty heavy. Uh, interesting box they, they do. Um, you get the little fake leather uh, pen sleeve that, that Pelican does. It fits actually a surprising number of pens. Uh, one of my friends uh, uh, told me until he got an actual pen pouch. But So that is an option. You can carry a, a number of, uh, of pens in there. It has this sort of fake wax seal, which is just a piece of plastic with the, the pelican on it. Uh, then we have a little uh, uh, pen bed. I'm just taking that out. Then there is the, uh, the, the, the paperwork of the pen. So we have two little booklets here. That is the, the warranty which is uh, oh, just a uh, simple nib grades, all that kind of stuff. And there is the, um, well, uh, what, sorry, what shall we call this uh, catalog, I guess, of, of Pelican and all the stuff they make and the different inks they have. And it's nice, nice uh, color uh, production. So let's put that out of the way. And let's look at the pen. Ocean Swirl M805. The five means that it has silver colored rhodium colored uh, trims as opposed to um, gold, which many of the pelicans have. Let's look at the pen. Okay, top of the pen, you have the finial. It's a the pelican with a baby pelican. Here we have the clip. The clip is the standard pelican clip um, with a stylized pelican with its its bill. We have the cap. Uh, I will come back to the uh, the, the pattern of the material, but this is the ocean swirl, right? Maybe can show it to you on the uh, on the barrel. That is definitely a very fancy material. And then all the way back there, we have the piston turning knob. Here's a piston filler. It is an M800, M800 sized. Um, so it, 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 it you know piston filler, quite a nice, nicely uh, sized pen. For many people, this is a, a comfortable size pen. Sorry, cap screws off. Then we have the uh, section. Um, simple, tapers down a little bit, flares out. And then we have the nib. Uh, it's a nice, nicely sized nib. This one is rhodium plated, but it is actually gold. And it has the pelican uh, on it, and it says 18 carat 750, so gold content. And it is a broad nib in this case. I've always liked their feed. I like that that rounding off in the in the fins of the combs there. Uh, that always looks uh, looks quite nice. Uh, threads not particularly sharp, um, and just a nice size. It's just a, a a good size pen. If you want to, it can be posted, and then it becomes really quite big. But that is a possibility. But I think even unposted for many people, this will be a a very comfortable pen size. Definitely on the larger size, but not super oversized yet, for that you need the M1000. So, very interesting, very interesting um, uh, pen, I think. What do I like about it, what do I not like about it? Well, it's a, it's a special edition or a limited production uh, pen, so these will not be around forever. That means that if you want one, you'll have to uh, get one as soon as you can. You can see the pearlescence here is, is um, Chateauians, people call it, I think. Uh, it's, 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 when it captures the light well, it's, that's really quite pretty. Um, I think that's, that's great. As I said, in itself, the 800 is a pretty safe pen size. Some people find it big, but many people find it a, a very comfortable size. So in that regard, it's, it's, it's nice that they put it on that. Um, the nib is nice, it's very smooth. It is a little over-polished, so it does skip a bit. Uh, and that, of course, is, uh, is a shame. Um, I do like that the strips, and I will come back to that in a bit more detail, the strips, the material, so you have that green, and you turn it turns sort of black, and then you have more green and then more black. And as you can see, you can match them up between the barrel uh, and the cap 
uh, which is nice because if it would look say like this I think it, it looks a bit weird so it is nice that it, it does actually line up and it lines up on both sides so that's definitely good and um, I, I, I like that things I don't like about it basically three things I'll start with the simplest one but also a crucial one the nib should write uh, you're talking about a 525 euro pen nib should write flawlessly why can't companies get it right I, I, I don't know and this is not a terrible one um, the, it, it definitely writes and I can not fix this that's not the issue the issue is that out of the box you would want a, a pen of this price to write flawlessly and I, I mean I, I just don't get it I, I, I typically use the uh, analogy of, of cars if anyone were to buy a car and then you try to get out of your driveway and it doesn't drive because the engine doesn't function nobody would accept that but apparently it's become acceptable that you 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 put out a nib that that doesn't write perfectly straight away um, I find that strange having said that second thing is I save the the the, the, the most um, I don't know if it's the most major thing but I save the um, thing we should discuss I think the longest for last um, there's no ink window and if you hold it up to bright light it is sort of translucent but you really need to have at least on this one this particular pen pretty much like like bright sunlight you need to hold it up to that, that uh, bright sky even to I have LED light in here but I, I, I can't I, I don't see anything so there's no real ink window you have no way of telling how much ink is left unless as I said you have access to a bright sky so that is not I don't find that optimal but of course it would take out some of the material if you were to put in an ink window as uh, happens with some of the other smaller pelicans now here's the biggest issue um, quite some controversy was uh, created over the specific finish uh, it's not the, the 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 green the green is nice but the problem is the pen is not all green as you can see here that's about 25 percent of the pen you rotate it that's 25 percent darkness it is not pure blackness there is some of the greenish material in it but very very little so you have 25 percent green 25 percent I'm just going to call it blackish 25 percent green again and 25 percent blackish again and I think that what a lot of people expected was to get a pen that looks like this all around but it's not and I have seen all sorts of reports some people say that their pen is like this 100% so all no matter how you turn it it always looks like this so the green is all over the pen other people say only about 25% of my pen looks like this the rest is black then there are people apparently like me uh, who have about 50% green and the rest is black and that's a bit confusing and I don't know how that happened I don't know if it's quite simply the property of the material, the the uh, resin or acrylic, I, I, from the top of my head, I don't know what what I can use, but that it's it's simply a matter of this is how the rods come out, and we can't control that process. But then maybe you should let people know because I think in a lot of their advertising, it strongly suggested that this is the entire pen, but it's not. And I know of at least one fountain pen lover in my circles who got in his and he said this is unacceptable to me I'm gonna send this back I want a refund because I wanted that I paid for this I didn't pay for that other people say no 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 but it's the ocean swirl and this is supposed to be ocean so this is the ocean the waves and then as you get deeper it just gets darker and darker well that kinda of makes sense to me but then why do some pens have 50 percent green and others have 100 percent green and then there are those that have 25 percent green it's just a bit weird for me personally I don't find this a deal breaker because there is enough of this green on there to keep me very happy and I will say it is very pretty especially when it hits the, the light right it actually almost looks like a satellite picture of the ocean with with you can sort of see the the variations in in color from a almost a very deep turquoise to almost black and sort of eddies and such I think it's very pretty but I do understand that if that's what you expected and that's what you got you would be a bit disappointed so to each his own uh, whether that's worth it for you whether that's an issue for you I don't know for me it wasn't so much but I do understand that for some people it would be disappointing and that's pretty much all there's to it so there we go 
Um, very satisfied uh, because I, I do enjoy the pen. It's a nice pen. This on an M1000, people, especially will be all around. That would be magnificent, but it's not. We need to see uh, how the pen writes. That's what's coming up next. High resolution pictures as well as measurements of the pen will be on the website, sbrabrown.com. I hope this was useful so far, and I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl. Oops, swirl. That's horrid. Uh, the nib is a broad and the ink is Kandash uh, Caribbean blue, but that's no longer available. So, alas. The writing is definitely smooth, but I think that's the issue. I think it's just a bit over-polished. You do, do see there is a bit of a skip here and there. So maybe let's see if we can... It's not terrible. But it's not perfect. Bit of fast writing. Again, a little bit of a skip here and there, too. Wetness. Not really a gusher, but it's not super dry either. Very careful. Some line variation. Can squeeze out a little bit, but uh, I, don't, I don't find this nib to be really uh, super springy. Reverse writing. Um, it's possible, at least for a few words, but it, it does run dry, and it does definitely make the nib a lot finer. And there you have it. So, thank you very much. I hope this was useful. And um, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.